Well, if you um, fall into a very big black hole, it would actually be just fine. You'd be just fine. It would be not more dramatic than stepping into the shadow of a tree. The bigger the black hole, it's surprising to people, but the less likely it is to, to tear you to pieces, um, at least at the event horizon. And the way to think about that is to think, well, when I stand on the earth, because it's so big, I hardly notice that it's, it's a sphere. But if I stand on a basketball, I definitely notice. And so you hardly notice the black hole is there, the bigger it is. And you just fall right across. Um, you, you don't have um, a good future prospect because inevitably you're driven towards the center of the black hole where the space-time curvature, regardless of whether or not there's a singularity or another universe or what happens, will definitely get strong enough to tear you apart. And the question is sort of a matter of how long do you have before you hit that part where the, the um, space-time curvature is strong enough to tear you to shreds. Literally, it's as though one part of your body is being pulled in faster than the other part of your body. And you'll be stretched apart, and your ligaments will break, and you'll be torn into your fundamental particles. Um, and if you fall into a very big black hole, you might be able to make it. The biggest black hole is conceivable that we know of in the universe, you might be able to make it a year. Be a pretty existentially dark year, but you could maybe make it a year. If it was our sun and it was only six kilometers across, you would have microseconds to live. Black holes are dark on the outside, but they're not necessarily dark on the inside. So you have a lot of light from the galaxy that can fall in behind you. So you can actually watch the universe evolve as you're falling into the black hole. As you fall in, you might even not realize what's happened. You'll kind of realize as you would if you stepped into the shadow of a tree. But even in the shadow of the tree, you can see things because the light can fall in behind you. And so you might see the evolution of civilizations. You might see the earth come and go. You might see new stars born and die before you, um, you hit your own demise.